In this video is a dumbbell sequence intended to target the upper back, the shoulders, biceps, chest, and triceps. So this circuit is actually named look better in a t-shirt circuit because it works all the muscles that would show be shown off in a t-shirt. So the first movement you saw was a bent over lateral raise. Now you're seeing alternating front raises and they're actually a wide angle. So typically we'd raise to the width of a bench press. So how, how wide your hands would be for a bench press is how wide you alternate uh, raising the dumbbells. Then it moves into alternating bicep curls and these are performed with palms up. It helps just get extra tension on the biceps. You can do a hammer grip with palms neutral if you want to focus more on the forearms. Then we move into push-ups using the dumbbells as kind of the base support. It helps just kind of alleviate some wrist issues that people may have from traditional push-ups. And the push-ups are to target the chest and the triceps. So now you'll see we're going to go back through the individual exercises. So the first one we went through was the bent over lateral raise. And this one you can see is we're allowing the shoulder blades to stretch and squeeze. So that way they're kind of like opening up and then squeezing as the dumbbells come up. This incorporates more muscles of the upper back, getting the lower traps and some other muscles that might be missed in a traditional bent over lateral raise. Now we're moving into the alternating front raises again. And that wide angle going out to kind of the width of a bench press helps get more mid-delt into this front raise as opposed to a traditional front raise which works, works mostly just the front of the shoulder. So this incorporates more middle shoulder muscle for shoulder width. And then we move into alternating curls. And again, these are done with palms up. That's a little bit more of a challenge. So if you need to make them easier, you can do palms neutral, which incorporates more forearm muscles as well. So it depends on where you want the emphasis. The last one we go through again is the push-ups. If you need to, you can do push-ups modified from the knees to get the reps you need, or you can actually add pauses to make the push-ups harder. So this is a great sequence. Typically for each movement, we do about 10 to 20 reps. Give it a try and see what you think.